welcome back to my channel uh, today I am tackling a kind of a request um, I was already working on this page and I shared it on my Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you do I do share a lot of works in progress on there um, but I had a request from what I shared which is this picture if I could do a quick little tutorial on how I'm coloring these calla lilies. Now, as you know, calla lilies are white and I'm using white paper on tan tone. It would be way easier. <laughs> um, but she wanted to know how to do that because, you know, there are pages with white paper. Not all of us can afford the tan tone. So I thought, you know what? Um, I could do a quick little tutorial because I'm already coloring this page and well, that's the easiest way to churn out a video, right? <laughs> Something you're already doing. So I thought I would tackle this one just because it does have a little green. Um, here's what I'm going to preface this with. I am using a combo of Lightfast and Luminance pencils. If you do not own those, do not worry about that. We can always find you comparable colors. Um, I do recommend a harder lead. Um, so polychromos, even the Black Widows are harder. Uh, you can do this with Prismas. They're just a wee bit soft, and so they may not give you the same effect. But here's the thing. Um, combine multiple brands of pencils to get the similar colors. You don't always have to just use all of one brand. Um, so that said, um, for the green, so see here in the calla lily, if you look up pictures of calla lilies, let's get you down to where we're going to be anyways, checking this out. I ignore her ugly skin at the moment. I haven't buffed it out. <laughs> um, so calla lilies, if you look up pictures, you know, you always see a lot of green coming up from the stem. And so that was really important to me to capture. And then they have the yellow stamen, and I wanted to kind of create a glow while adding in some green and whatnot. So I have a few colors going on in there. Now, if you have Derwent, uh, yeah, <laughs> Derwent Lightfast, Cran Dash Luminance, here's the colors. If you don't, just again, find something comparable. I will check and see if Karen over at My Colorful Country Life, if her, um, little chart has those picked out and then I know Karen Valentine also had made one a long time ago so you may be able to find them there uh they both kind of compare different uh pencils in there so so a couple colors you're going to need to pull this off you'll need foliage from the light fast um olive yellow which is also known as 015 from luminance and champagne from the uh light fast as well then you'll need your buff titanium from luminance which is 801 uh, bismuth yellow 810 from luminance banana from light fast and gold from light fast and that's really hard to not screw those up okay so let's get started i kind of have you at an angle just so that my hand is out of the way I like to start actually in the center working on the stamen. So I'm going to take gold. It's kind of a nice darker yellow. I just pop it in some of these darker shadow areas. I'm using medium to light pressure just because these pencils don't need a lot of pressure to get out the pigment. All right now I'm using banana. See how that's like a nice brighter yellow. We're not flicking yet, but there will be flicking. So <laughs> don't think you escaped the flick, the flick therapy. All right, now we're taking our bismuth yellow. Now this is a pretty bright yellow, so put it down lightly. Less is more with this bad boy. Now, this one I'm also carrying up a little here. So I'm kind of just lightly putting it down. And this is what's going to help bring out that white. Um, because that's the issue here. You know, we have a white flower that we're trying to color on white paper. And, well, that doesn't always work out, does it? So 
Gonna add a little bit of that in there. Very lightly with a yellow. I do not want this to look like a yellow flower. I want it to almost look like it's kind of just glowing from the yellow coming off the stamen. Okay, now we're gonna swap over to our greens real fast. I lied, you're gonna need some other greens too. Just for this bottom part. Um, so from the luminance, I have the one I can't say, Dark Fellow Cyanine Green, if I said it right. Woohoo! 719. Uh, and Moss Green 225. So we'll grab the one I can't say, also known as 719. I'm going to come here at the bottom because this is my dark shadow color. And I'm going to kind of show you how I get some of this stem action in here too. Gosh, I hope you can't hear my stomach growling because it so is. <laughs> All right, now moss green. It's going to go in there. And then I'm going to bring up the moss green. And here is where the infamous flick therapy occurs. So I see how I'm just lightly flicking that one at the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to take foliage. This is a light, fast color. Make sure your points are sharp on these greens because they are doing quite a bit of flicking. And you'll notice, see when I'm flicking, I'm going up and curving as well where I need to. You don't want to be all stiff. I'm going to pop a little bit of that in there as well. And a little on the side. Okay, now grab um, Olive Yellow 015 from your Light Fast. Again, you do not have to use these pencils. The goal of my tutorials is to teach you the technique. You go find similar colors and pencils you already own. I guarantee there's colors close enough in some of the other brands. Now see, I'm bringing some of this green up here. And again, I'm just lightly flicking it out. And I'm going to also bring some of this olive yellow into here and flick it upward. I'm also going to pop a little into this curve here. And you can bring up this green as high as you want. Some calla lilies, if you look at them, they go up pretty high with that green. <clears throat> it's all up to you. Okay. Now we're going to grab champagne, which is kind of a really nice um, ivory color, I'd like to say. So I'm going to start by bringing that in here, a teensy. I could probably zoom you in a little more or a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going to bring that in there. And then I'm going to start bringing this over that light layer of the bismuth yellow. Remember, we didn't do anything crazy with that bismuth. So I'm kind of going um, off to the edges of it. And then same thing here. And then down here. I'm going to fill in this stamen. Now it's going to be darker right in the center where it's like curling into it. So I want a little bit more of the champagne color right here. We're not flicking anymore. We're just kind of putting it down with a nice gentle light motion. And then same thing down here. So now I'm going to... Oh, is it doing the zoom in, zoom out? Zoom in, zoom out? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it? Now here, I'm just kind of softening a little bit of those flicks. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna take my buff titanium, which is like one of the best whites or one of my favorite whites, but um, that is because it has, I don't wanna say it's like an ivory or an off, it's just a very, It's a, it is an off-white color, um, but it's just, it's great. Um, you know, if you enjoy like blending out with Prismo White, now see we're taking this all the way to the ends, by the way. I'm just kind of buffing those out. Uh, if you like the Prismo White, you could try this one as well as one of your buffers. Now this is a little firmer than a Prismo White. Now I'm just 
putting this here in the center where I do want it white. There a little around the edges. Okay, and then I do want some right here. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of, instead of circular motions, I'm just going back and forth like that. Back and forth. up and down almost like you're scribbling okay now I'm gonna take my um, bismuth yellow again and just pop in a little bit more very lightly though again don't go crazy with that color we don't want a yellow calla lily all right and then I'm gonna take a little bit more of my champagne Pop this in here. Like I said, if this was tan toned paper, this would be easy peasy. But all these yellows and little touches of that olive yellow green are really going to help make this look whiter than it, you know, actually is. All right. So I'm going to take some of that olive um, yellow from Lumi's again. And now I'm just going to. Flick it in there, here and there, kind of like I did with this one over here. Just because I want a little bit of that green popping through. A little bit up there as well. Maybe a little here where there's a fold. Maybe bring it up a little higher on that side. Pop it down a little lower here. Okay, let me zoom me out so you can actually see like the full effect there. Okay, so see, there you go. Now it's got kind of a nice off-white finish. Now this one is a little bit more yellowy and green than this one, but this is a teenier one. And when you're coloring flowers, you never want them to look 100% the same. Like you want each one to look unique because that's how they are in nature. Um, so yeah, that is how I do these little calla lilies, or I did for this page at least. Um, you know, of course, doing my flick method on the leaves. I can't help myself. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any questions, please pop those down below and I will do my best to answer them as quickly as I can. And I'll do some more tutorials as well. Um, it's always fun when you're already working on a page to just do one because then you're like, I'm not doing some sort of special project. I'm just working on what I'm already planning to work on. So I always enjoy that. That's why I said follow me on Instagram. If I do a whip and you're like, hey, could I see how you've done that? I, it's so much easier for me than going back and creating a tutorial later. Um, and I can't remember who asked, <laughs> otherwise I would give them credit. But yeah, guys, that is how I am doing these white calla lilies. Is this the only method? No, there's other methods I use. But for this particular method, this is what I'm doing. And as always, these are tutorials just using my technique. So just keep that in mind. If you disagree with my technique, that's totally fine. But we're all unique in how we color. And yeah, hopefully you can pull this off just using the technique and finding some similar colors or using those if you have them. So until next time, guys, take care. Bye now.